Okay, so um, as you can see, uh, this is August 24th. It's kind of cramped in my van right now. I have got a whole bunch of stuff and I had to raise my bed. Uh, I got a bunch of boxes and stuff to go through. Um, and a lot of it's artwork of mine. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show people some of my artwork. I, I'm a stone artist. Uh, I'm a stone sculptor, uh, as well as many other things. And so today, I'm going to go through some of my old works, and I guess I'm going to videotape it for you guys. All right. Okay. So this is a piece of clay that I fashioned back in 1994. This is another one of my future vehicles. Um, this is where it all began. This here, Swiss Army knife, is the Swiss Army knife that carved this piece, this piece, and this piece. All three of these pieces are out of the very first five pound piece of soapstone that I got. <sighs> that would be 1996. And a friend of mine gave me a piece. I carved a pipe. I carved a pipe and the next day a friend came by and bought it off me for 20 bucks. I carved a second pipe. And the next day, again, a friend came by and bought that second pipe off me for 20 bucks. This is the third pipe I ever carved in my life. This is the fourth. Just a little doobie toker. But it's reminiscent of, um, it's reminiscent of, uh, Easter Island, Easter Island, without the head <laughs> anyways this year I carved next this is my idea of a future vehicle I've been drawing things like this since I was a kid this is the beginning of my curving career back in 96 now in the same year I made all of these pieces here. Well, this is actually done in 2000, this one. This one was done back in 97. Anyways, let's get into these. The fact is, is... <coughs> this is just, uh... This was for cone incense. I carved for myself when I'm doing some of my spiritual practices. This was the first chillum I ever carved. And you can see... I even wrote Chillum upon it. That's my mark as an artist. I have thousands of pieces across the world now. After years and years. This is a rare, rare piece of Montana soapstone. They mined all of this stuff out through the entire world for the hues for the uh, cosmetics industry. But you can see it's an amazing stone. It's a gorgeous stone like just look at this stuff now this you may not know right away what it is but if you look down it becomes the head of a dragon dragon's head is you're trying to have a toke on it you know what I mean burn so that again is a rare piece this here, all right, let's try that again. So this, this is alabaster. This is white alabaster. This is what happens when you smoke through white alabaster. This is the exact same stone. I carved that pipe from this stone. This is what it looked like originally. You can see it's semi-transparent and look at that just crazy so story of the headless seal story of the headless seal is 
I carved this back in 96. What the hell is wrong with the tracking here? All right. I carved this back in 96. This, I started at the tail here and worked my way forward. And as I got to the front of the stone, I uh, didn't have enough room to do the head of the seal, so I put the seal on a chopping block and wrote a joke on the bottom of it. <laughs> the fact is, I carved this in 96. I carved this from the same stone, same five pound chunk as I carved these three pieces. But you can see, just in the first couple weeks of carving, I already improved my technique and I mean like actually the carving style has always been par but I'm actually trying to get a better finish on the stone and make it more professional and I'm actually like figuring out how I'm going to do this it was just <laughs> this is northern BC jade this beak this is a crow's beak I carved don't ask me why it was just pure artists I saw a crow's beak in the stone and I carved it so yeah uh, these are all my old pieces this is BC soapstone that I quarried myself out of Nahatlatch Ridge, uh, otherwise known as Boston Bar, in the um, just north of Hope, BC. And uh, you'll see some interesting characteristics about this stone. It actually has quartz and gold and uh, iron deposits in it. It's such a beautiful stone. There's a big chunk of quartz in, in the tail right there. This was my broken heart. I carved this back in 1996, 97, sometime around there. Can't exactly remember when. Oh no, I carved this back in, uh, yeah, 96. So... You can see there used to be a hilt coming off of this, which broke off. Uh, this is the hilt of a sword that has penetrated the armor of, of a heart. All right, so this is obviously an ashtray slash incense burner um, I carved. Now, this is the same stone from the Hatlatch Valley, Boston Bar area, north of Hope, that I quarried. And uh, you can see the, uh, you know, the deposits are a lot more prevalent. This is just beautiful stone. This is my ideal woman. I carved her back in 1999, 98 or 99, I can't remember. You can see she's had some damage. I mean, she's been in a f quite a few moves. I've moved quite a few times. You know, her arm snapped off here at one point in time. Her nose got flattened at one point in time. There has been so much this poor girl has gone through. But you can see she's just beautiful. I'll show you how big she is. She's actually sizable. Oops, one of you. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah. You can see I got quite accurate about things. All right, so here is a piece that I've almost finished. There is still some pe you can see I'm actually still doing some carving here. I have to finish off her hand, her hair. There's little bits here and there that I got to finish. But for the most part, this is almost done. This is out of that same stone, the uh, Nahatlatch Valley quartz and gold soapstone. This is such a beauty. You can see it's it's just wow. Oh. Oh. Almost done. Almost. I call it fire and water. Fire and water. Okay, this is another piece of art that's still in progress. I'm still carving. I don't know if you can make that out, but it is the shape of a headless dragon. There's no question about that. Alright. So, but, now here's the kicker. Whoa, what? The dragon comes apart? There's something inside it? What's going on here? What? <laughs> this is the head of the dragon. That head is finished. The rest of the dragon isn't. But the head comes off, and it is indeed a pipe. The head of the dragon is a pipe because I do dragon head pipes. But the dragon body, that's something I've never done before in terms of a full body. I've done necks, I've done partials, I've never done a full body. And this thing goes right on just like that. You can actually feel it fit into place. Nope. It's going to be so beautiful when it's done. Just a gorgeous piece. So far. So while I'm doing this video, I'm leaving the most obvious one out. Uh, and that's the one that I wear all the time. Alright. Okay, so here's a close-up on the Northern BC Jade necklace that I carved. I don't know how well you can see it. That's the eagle, wolf, scorpion. 